Hi, uh, in today's video I want to talk about birth of a child in Kazakhstan and Kazakh cultural traditions related to that uh, topic. Kazakh people have a lot of customs related to childbirth and upbringing. Children have always been very significant for a Kazakh family and its clan. Kazakhs have always believed that having a children is very fortunate. Childbirth has been regarded as a blessing and at all times families have preferred to have a lot of children rather than a lot of money. The traditions linked to childbirth like other customs are rooted in the history of Kazakh people. They took centuries to become what they are today and were influenced by cultural evolution. Nomadic people were under the influence of many cultural trends which were widespread in the steppe. Another powerful factor that has influenced Kazakh tradition and determined the ways of modern Kazakh life is Islam. The Kazakhs absorbed customs of neighboring people and at the same time managed to preserve the core of its own culture. Now that the life of Kazakhs has changed due to the urban influences, a lot of traditions have become history or undergone certain changes. Here are some customs connected with childbirth. The first is kalja, a meat dish which was specially cooked for a woman after the confinements as a sign of respect and attention to a woman. One of the compulsory customs for Kazakhs at all times was to make basic, a special crib for a baby made from seven pieces of wood taken from seven old ladies of the village. Normally a baby is put into a basic three days after birth. This was a special ritual when everybody would sing a traditional song basic jure. Babies sleep there until a new child is born which, is, which usually happened fairly soon in old times. Even nowadays one can see these scripts in modern flats of young Kazakhs. The first 40 days are believed to be the most dangerous in babies lives and the most important of their parents. Therefore babies are carefully protected from eyes and the nearest relatives only allowed to see them. Kazakhs still firmly follow this tradition. In 40 days after birth, women and the family would come together and wash the baby and cut its hair and nails. This, this ceremony is called Kirkinan Shagaru. After the wash, the woman would receive presents as a sign of gratitude. Besides, a grandmother takes an active part in baby's life during the first 40 days and would become the most important person during the first period after birth. Another ritual in the baby's life is called Kirki. The parents would buy blue silk, a wooden spoon and a large white cauldron. These objects were believed to have the power to improve the baby's nature. After some manipulations, the main guest would tell the baby that its name by whispering it to his or her ear for three times. At Koyu is the name given is the name giving ceremony. Kazakhs attach a particular importance to this ceremony. They give their babies beautiful names of famous people. The most popular are the names of famous historical figures like Abai, Oljaz, Sakain, Ablai and others. If only girls were born in the family, they would often be called Ultagin or Ulmekin in the hope that a son will be born next time. As a rule, a mula was invited to, to all the feasts connected with the child's birth in order to read special prayers and give blessings to the event celebrated by each feast. Another Kazakh tradition is Baurna Salu where parents send their ch child to live with somebody else for a while. The most common occasion is when grandparents are allowed to raise their first long-awaited grandson. Sometimes their close relatives would undertake to raise the children without legally adopting them. In all cases, adopted parents would try not to distance the child from their real parents. This custom is still widespread in Kazakhstan today. The ritual called Tusa Keser is very popular in Kazakhstan. This ritual is performed when a child has made first steps. The child's legs are tied with a thin bright lace which is then cut to make the little legs free to walk into the future. This ceremony is usually performed by an energetic and a quick person who has, who has a few children of their own. 
During the ceremony, everybody sings song, wishing the child to stand firm on its legs, be confident in life, and overcome difficulties with ease. Uh, the variety of rituals existing in Kazakhstan today is evidence of a developed culture. Uh, hopefully, this video was helpful for you to understand the traditions for a newborn kid in Kazakhstan. If you enjoy this content, please make sure to click like. And if you would like to see more contents from Kazakhstan, please subscribe. See you soon. Goodbye.